G'day folks, Troy Dean here from WP Elevation and welcome to this very, very special live Q&A with myself and my good friend Kim Barrett from Your Social Voice in Western Australia. Kim, how are you my friend? I am doing phenomenal. Thank you, good sir. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Thank you for joining us, my friend. I really appreciate it. Now, this, of course, is a Q&A live stream because we are right now in the middle of an epic launch for our brand new course, the Facebook Ads Accelerator, uh, of course, uh, which you are the main presenter in this course. For those that don't know and who have been uh, living under a rock, just tell everyone, who is Kim Barrett and uh, what are you doing here and why are you qualified to teach people how to run Facebook ads? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate that every day I get to work with small business owners, big business owners, entrepreneurs who are out there making a difference in the world. And I get to help them by allowing them to just focus on doing what they do best. So for the last five years and the last 15 years of uh, learning advertising and marketing and the last five years of of, uh, of being in an agency, I figured out what works, what doesn't work and how to get results really quickly. So we've worked with some epic companies from solopreneurs to ASX listed companies. And we've also really had the benefit of getting to just help business owners focus on doing what they do best by taking over their marketing or getting them to install marketing systems into their business. So on average, we manage about just under $2 million a year in ad spend, which is oh. um, pretty epic. So we find out very quickly what works and what doesn't. Do you get, uh, I imagine if I was managing, I think the last conversation we had, you said you'd manage $750,000 worth of ad spend in the last three months. If I was managing that kind of ad spend for clients, I'm not sure I'd be sleeping very well at night. Now you've obviously got the results, you've obviously got, you know, it's that thing where you, you know, you know, like anxiety comes from a lack of confidence, right? So um, I have this recurring nightmare that I'm gonna, I'm an ex-musician, right? And I have this recurring nightmare that I'm about to walk on stage and play to a packed out stadium and I start playing the first few chords on the acoustic guitar and I remember that I, I haven't written any words and I don't know what I'm supposed to sing and I'm like, ah, they're expecting something brilliant from me and I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, if I was running that many ads for clients, I'd be shitting my pants. So you've obviously got a good process in place to make sure that you can get results for your clients so that you sleep well at night, right? Yeah, and to be honest, most of it is is managing the fundamentals really well. As soon as people go into overcomplicating things and you do try and build something too big too fast, it could be stressful. And I've had that before where my very first big client came on literally at this time in Christmas. They wanted to add an extra $3 million in sales in December. <laughs> and it was just me and an assist, ad assistant who was overseas. And I was like, okay i was like i'll take them on and figure it out and then i literally was like i think i was like losing my hair i was like crying at night and then uh ended up having to hand them on to some, another agency just so that they could get a, a better outcome but it that in that stage when i didn't have that and i took on a client in uh, in a big e-commerce space yeah. that happened i spent like three hours i think across like four days and i was just like because I, I launched about three I think I launched 3,000 ads in a week. Whoa, man. And you just end up, <laughs> end up in the fetal position, just rocking back and forth, crying your eyes out. Um, yeah. Hey, quick hello to people who are watching. Uh, Yogesh Sharma is here watching from Delhi in India. Now, I've got to tell you, Yogesh has already bought Facebook Ads Accelerator. This man is a legend, Yogesh. He joined our WP Elevation uh, Blueprint program a few months ago. He has since been through a bunch of our courses and he's just a super engaged, uh, very loyal customer. So, hey, Yogesh, thank you for joining in the stream. Peter Wright is also watching. I believe Peter is in Sydney. Jeffrey Patch is also watching. He is from the United States of America. And so is Philippe German Castro Bustamante, who is, I think I got your name right, who is watching from Brampton in Canada. Uh, please tell me if I got your name right there. I'm going to say it again. Philippe German Castro Bustamante. That's a fun name to say, I must say. I'm a little bit envious of uh, that name. Daniel is here from Indiana. Josh Osler is watching. And Susan Wheeler Hall says, awesome, listening from Canada. Hello. And Margaret Tehan is also watching, as is Daniel Fayette from, uh, he's coming from the Content Blueprint program. So there we go. A little bit of context, we've got a bunch of courses here at WP Elevation. Some of these people are in some of those other programs and are now looking at using Facebook ads to accelerate their results. And that's why it's called the Facebook Ads Accelerator. Oh, hang on a second. Thank you. I knew that sound pad would come in handy one day. Um, <laughs> now, um, 
For those, uh, we've got a couple of questions um, and uh, also want to uh, cover off some of these questions. A lot of our customers have bought our high ticket sales funnel program, which for those that don't know, basically teaches you how to run a sales funnel to get people on a phone call. You can have an appointment and then sell them a high ticket product or, or program or service. It's great for marketing retainers, SEO plans or selling high end uh, websites. And some of the questions we've had is, it seems like Facebook ads would be a good way to run uh, or to you know speed up the traffic we get to our high ticket sales funnel. So I wonder if you can just talk, I mean, obviously I know this is a, a great strategy, but I wonder if you can just talk a little bit about that, Kim. Yeah, definitely. And I think because obviously we, we mentioned in uh, about the program that it's at that top of funnel uh, mind. Some people go, well, isn't a high ticket sales funnel kind of bottom of the funnel? Isn't that like something I should be doing after? And um, the, the answer is they're both right. But because if you have, and this is what we run through in the program, my NOC method, it doesn't matter if you're looking for top of funnel lead generation interest or if you're looking for bottom of funnel conversion as well, it actually works on both. Because everything that you have on your phone when it comes to social media is completely personalized and specialized to you. So if you can put the right ad in front of someone, and we go through a few examples of this in the program as well, that speaks to their pain and problem better than they know, it's speaking to the right person and it's actually tailored to them, of course they want to do it and take action. Like, you know, I've gone from not wanting a mattress to buying a mattress <laughs> in the space of two days and spending a thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, right? that, was, like, that, was that the koala mattress? Yeah, koala. Yeah, yeah. same dude, exactly. I did the same thing. <laughs> so it's like, we want it, it comes up, you're like pain. I was like, what happens every night, I go to bed, my girlfriend, she's like, you move so much, you wake me up. And I'm like, well, we just need to get one of those mattresses that doesn't have any movement. And then there was someone jumping on a bed with a glass with of a red glass wine. Of red wine. Exactly. Yeah, I, I saw like, the okay. same ad, bought the same mattress. <laughs> yep, love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that's what I say. It can fill any any funnel anywhere for the product. It's, it's more about the context, not the content. Don't be like, can I use it to fill this or do this or do that? The answer is most likely going to be yes to everything. But think about it as long as you are – putting the right offer in front of the right people, that's most important. So if you've got a, if you've done the high ticket sales funnel program, you've got that done. Now this is like, it's a perfect like mix that comes together. Yeah. By the way, uh, Philippe German Castro Bustamante says, yes, you got it right. I got his name right. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, that comes from doing, I spent five years as the voice of the Australian Open tennis tournament here in Melbourne. And so every day for two weeks, I would have to go into the studio and announce the uh, matches for the following day based on who won and who lost. And of course, a lot of those, uh, a lot of the world's greatest tennis players are Eastern European. And so I would have, and they're very, and rightly so, very particular about how they want their name pronounced. So um, I uh, had to learn very quickly how to look at a name and figure out how to pronounce it. Sheila Hurd is also watching from Port Hope in Canada. Um, Yogesh says, uh, yes, thanks, Troy. I've got all the WP Elevation courses this year, and I'm going to get my team to learn all this stuff in 2020. Excellent. Alan Grace is also watching. Bjorn Bojan says, well, was the mattress worth it? I'm going to say it was because I'm still sleeping on that koala mattress, and it is amazing. I love it. Yeah, I've still got it. I like. I, I can't fault it. It is pretty comfy. One of the other things I like about it, which is a segue into Daniel's question, one of the other things I like about the Koala mattress is they give you a 180-night guarantee. So you can basically sleep on the thing for six months, and if you don't like it at any point in that first six months, you can send it back. Daniel says, hey there, big fan of WP Elevation. Thank you, Daniel. Do you guys cover how to manage expectations or what to do when clients ask about guarantees as they relate to Facebook ad retainers? Ooh, what a curly question. I'm going to let you handle that one, my friend. Short answer, yes, we do. So we've actually got a bonus, which I think is only for this launch period right now that we have, which is how to sell Facebook ads as a retainer. And the big thing that most people go into when they are looking to sell Facebook ads is that they don't actually, number one, they're like, cool, I'm going to charge you this, but they don't set goals. So once you understand how to get a goal for a client and we get you to do this, and here's the funny thing, right? What we get you to do in the program is exactly the same thing that you would do if you get a client as well. So we go through and help you set your budgets to choose and identify what your goals are going to be. You do that same thing with your clients and you set their expectations. Same as we set your expectations on how you're going to launch your ads. You literally, it's it's a, like, I don't always like to use it, but it's literally swipe and deploy. Same thing for exactly that you would do for, we, we get you to do, you do for your clients as well. Yeah. And it's, you know, the, the, what I've learned over the years um, running an agency was the hardest thing is to try and manage expectations once the horse is out of the gate, right? You've got to yeah. manage, you've got to set those expectations before the, the race begins. Yeah. It's much easier than trying to manage those expectations when the horse is halfway down the track and it's a, 
uh, you know, falling uh, off its legs and the wheels are falling off. And I'm mixing metaphors again because that's what I do. A um, couple of other questions we had here. Um, I want to talk about content because I know a lot of our customers also have our content strategy blueprint. And I think of content strategy is great for, you know, getting organic leads, SEO, playing the long game. But what I've learned, and a lot of this comes from hanging out with you and making this course, is that good content and a good content strategy is really important for Facebook ads as well and for paid traffic, right? Yeah, they, again, everything kind of feeds in together. And it's not that you, and because a lot of people I think get confused, they hear mixed messages out in the marketplace, maybe you listen to Gary Vee and he tells you to do 100 pieces of content <laughs> a day or whatever the, whatever the new thing is that he's saying. And then people focus on one and it's like you need to do it, and I call it advertising cycles. It needs to be done in conjunction with, and that's where you get the real acceleration, is that once you have your conversion mechanism, which is like bringing leads and inquiries in or appointments, whatever it might be, then you go into list building and then you go into amplifying content as well. And when you do them all together, that's like the perfect storm. But if you just try and do one, it's like, okay, great, you can do that. But unless you're just sitting on, you know, and all your expenses are covered for the next three years, it's very hard to just do content. And then the same, it's like, unless you've got an endless bank balance for your ads, it's very hard to just do ads. If you do all of them together, then it's like some weeks you get a few extra organic inquiries, then you've got your paid inquiries, then you're building a list and you do an email blast. Like all of them work together and it makes it, it's like a beautiful little sandwich. Mm. And um, content is, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't separate content and ads. Like for me, good ads are great content, like a good a good ad should should stand up on its own as a great piece of content anyway, regardless of whether or not the person buys. If they don't buy, at least you've added goodwill to the community and you've got a fan for life because you're being helpful and you're not just trying to smack people over the head and sell them your thing. Yeah, 100%. And you're going to have to promote your content anyway because like, if, you're, you're, if you rely on organic page reach, it's like good luck. Really? You know, that's, uh, it's not going to get to, you're not going to get you too far. What are you Actually, talking about, Kim? You mean like if I build it, they won't come? I just thought I would launch a blog and put a couple of posts on my Facebook page, and then people will beat down my door and want to buy my stuff. Isn't that the way it works? Oh, it is. But then you wake up the next morning and you realize it was all a dream, and then yeah, you're like, exactly. okay, I've got to go to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're in the field of dreams movie with Kevin Bacon. Um, yeah. One of the things that we do is we actually send ads directly to our podcast episodes to promote our podcast episodes and then what you end up with is, first of all, you end up with more downloads of your podcast, which is good, and then you end up with a warm audience in Facebook who have already engaged with some kind of your content anyway, and then remarketing to them uh, makes a little more sense. Hey, we're gonna get a URL for you shortly, and I'm saying that so that Max can put something together. If Max can go and find a URL and build me a short link, that'd be great. Um, and I'm gonna give you a link shortly where you can go and get the Facebook Ads Accelerator course at a very, very uh, crazy deal, right? Uh, we're in pre-launch at the moment. I just wanna be super clear and super transparent about this. We are in pre-launch, uh, pre-sale at the moment. So we are offering this bundle of training by uh, Kim Barrett, who you were talking to right here, and myself, we're sitting here in the studio. Uh, it's all Kim's knowledge. I'm just here asking questions and unpacking his brain. Kim's put some amazing workbooks together, which if you're in any of our Facebook groups, you will have seen some of those over the, the last week or so. Uh, there's a series of workbooks, there's a bunch of training videos, there's some screencast recordings that Kim walks you through. We are bundling that the Facebook Ads Accelerator course, which is a five module course, we're bundling that along with a ManyChat masterclass where Kim is going to show you how to use ManyChat to start generating clients for your business right now without spending any money on ads. And in complete transparency, this is the exact same campaign that we used that Kim responded to when he joined our Mavericks Club Mastermind, which is a $15,000 a year mastermind. So no ad spend there, getting people into a high ticket program using ManyChat. So Kim is gonna walk you through exactly how to do that. We're bundling that with, um, with in this uh, pre-sale launch. We're also bundling in the uh, bonus how to sell Facebook ads to your clients uh, on a retainer. I think there are some other bonuses that I can't even remember right now. Anyway, um, I can tell you the Facebook ads course alone, the Facebook ads accelerator course alone is valued at $1,997 plus the many chat masterclass plus all the other bonuses we're bundling in. It's available for $997 during this pre-sale launch, which ends next Wednesday. So you've only got a few days left to get in and I'm gonna get Max to put together a short link which will bring up on the screen very shortly and maybe um, Ben, who I think is also watching, can drop that link into the live stream 
comment so that people can click on it and uh, and go grab it. If you've got any questions at all about what's included in this course, please leave a comment under the live stream. I'm monitoring it here in real time right now and I can ask Kim any of these questions and we can get your questions answered on the call. Uh, Rex Stevens is watching. Hey, Rex has joined in the, um, joined in the live stream. Uh, Kim, maybe we just go through a, um, at a high level, what is the NOC method and, and why should we care? Yeah, and really simply, it's just a way that when I was looking at, and I'm very, very much a kind of a system task-based person. So when I was first doing Facebook ads, I was like, there's got to be an easy way for me to measure if this is stuff is working or not. And it was just in the back of the day where you only had right-hand hand ads and um, I'd have done so much training learning from all of the great copywriters and things like that. And I was like, great, what... And I distilled a lot of info from them too. So full credit to those, um, you know, the greats of Gary Halbert and whatnot also. But when I looked at it, I was like, there's really three things that's actually going to make this work. N, O, and C. Number one is niche. And it's like looking at who am I actually marketing this towards? You know, you want to be a specialist and not a generalist. You want to be able to go centimeters wide and kilometers deep, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, if you don't stand for, for something, you'll fall for anything. Mm -hmm. So that's why I really like to make sure that we choose a niche and we focus on one key thing. But a lot of people hear that and then they freak out. They're like, Kim, but uh, like my, my uncle just came to me. He runs a pet store, but my niece, niche is a dentist. I, like, obviously, I can't work with him, right? And it's like, no, you can. But for marketing campaigns, advertising campaigns, like I said to you guys before, it's all specialized now to us. It's all personalized to us. We want to speak to one specific person. So that's really why that's so important because of how much social media is changing and um, everything is becoming personalized. We want to make sure that you see it and it makes a connection to you. You're like, oh, that's me. I, I want that, right? Yes, my my partner complains at the evening because I roll around in bed and that's me. I'm that person. I need to get a mattress that's going to stop that. Then you need to have a good offer and then having a good offer. So if you've got a high ticket sales funnel, you've probably shortcut that step a little bit mm -hmm. already. But the offer is going cool. When I'm, when I'm positioning it to the marketplace, even if it's a call, Right, because a lot of people are like, oh, am I just trying to sell? Like when you say offer, am I trying to sell my website on the very first ad? It's like, no, you're trying to sell the outcome for them. You want to sell your offer is going. I'm going to solve your problem better than anyone else can. That's what my offer is. Mm -hmm. It's not a. We, we didn't buy a mattress. No, that's right. We I bought. Right. We bought happy partners. Yeah. That's what we bought, right? So then the next morning, they don't kick us when they get up and be like, yeah, you moved again, right? Then we get the snoring problem. That's a whole different kettle of fish. Gonna, until I see my the, uh, the, the, the snoring app to stop that, <laughs> then uh, then I'll buy that too when it comes up on my news feed. But each one of those is like, we're so, all we're doing is solving their problem, talking to them about that. And then the final step, which brings it all together is the copy or the creative, which is then how do we articulate it so that, again, they go, ah, that's me. I want that. I'm clicking on here. I'm registering. I want to have a chat with you about this. Mm. And I can tell you the last, part of that the, the copy and the creative is is uh, a nuanced art and a science it's all very well to get your niche right and get your offer right and it makes perfect sense in your head but the manifestation of that is the copy and the creative that makes sense to the person looking at it it doesn't just make sense to you and I have got that wrong many many times over the years and it's cost me lots and lots of money uh, check out the sales page says WP elevation courses wpelevation.com slash Facebook Ads Accelerator with a bunch of hyphens in there. It's in the comments below this video. You can go check out that. I think Max is still working on a short link that we'll put together for you uh, very shortly. Jenny Lackinen is watching. Hey, hi, Jenny. A uh, little quick shout out. Check this out. Jenny ro enrolled in um, high ticket sales funnels, right? She's, uh, I, I, I met Jenny in, um, in uh, June, I think it was, in San Diego. Uh, sorry, in Santa Monica, she came out to our live event. And Jenny's just a massive action taker, right? So she enrolls in high ticket sales funnels. Her niche is life coaches. So she serves life coaches. She had a new client who was about to be featured on a prominent podcast. She says to this client, listen, I think we should make the most of this opportunity by building you a funnel so that you've got somewhere to send people off the podcast rather than just sending them to your website. Let's send them to the top of your funnel. So this life coach says, all right, fantastic. Let's do it. Uh, Jenny builds the funnel. This, this life coach gets featured on a podcast. Uh, within 24 hours, 48 applications come through, 48 uh, visits through the funnel, 35 applications for a $5,000 uh, program. Within seven days, she has over 105 applications for this $5,000 coaching program. They turned the funnel off because she was like, I, I, can't, I haven't got capacity anymore. I can't do this anymore, right? 
a couple of colleagues in the life coaching space are watching this happen and say to Jenny, hmm, I wouldn't mind a piece of this action. What's going on here? Jenny started off, you know, when she joined our program, she was selling websites for $5,000. She's now selling high ticket sales funnels for 10 grand. And she just reached her goal. Her goal was to do over $100,000 in revenue in her first year, which ends in December this year. And she reached it uh, by the end of November. So uh, three cheers to Jenny Lackanen for taking massive action. Uh, that's the kind of thing that can happen when you learn, study from the right people and then take massive action. So there we go, wpelevation.com slash fbads dash course. wpelevation.com slash fbads dash course course is where you can go to uh, enroll in the Facebook Ads Accelerator course. That will take you through to the uh, sales page. Uh, and of course, module three is a deep dive of the NOC method of the course. Um, maybe I'll just bring up the sales page, um, Max, on the uh, computer. Let me, um, let me just do, the, here we go. So on uh, what I've got here, I've just brought up the page here. Uh, so when you go to wpelevation.com slash FB ads course, this is what you're going to see. Maybe if we can just, uh, do we, are we, have we got the screen sharing? Uh, yeah, we have, do we have got the screen sharing, Max. Maybe we can just, um, uh, maybe if we could just come screen share the computer. There we go, beautiful. Uh, the Facebook Ads Accelerator, I'm just showing the screen here, Kim. It is our ridiculously uncomplicated step-by-step -step process for creating highly effective top of funnel lead gen ad campaign. So this is specifically designed to get more leads into the top of your funnel so that you can start a conversation and sell them your products or services. Um, I just wanna cover off exactly what is uh, included. Uh, but before we do that, um, I'll just walk through this. These are, these are some of the stats that, that Kim has given us here. The indisputable case for Facebook ads, 2.4 billion monthly active users on Facebook, the third most visited website in the world, number one and two, of course, being Google and YouTube. Is that right? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. 71% of American adults use Facebook. Seniors are the fastest growing group of Facebook users. Uh, I can tell you why 55 plus 55 year old plus females are actually the fastest growing demographic on Facebook. And I think it's because they're becoming grandmothers for the first time and they wanna see pictures of the grandkitties. 38 minutes on average per day on the platform for a user. 90 million small businesses use Facebook and an average user clicks on 11 sponsored posts every month. Those statistics come from Hootsuite. Um, what I do wanna talk about though is exactly what is included. The Facebook Ads Accelerator, here we go, sell one $500 a month retainer to one client and you'll six times your investment in the Facebook Ads Accelerator right away. Uh, and here's what you'll learn. Module one is all about why you should be using Facebook Ads. Now this seems like a really obvious question, Kim, right? Mm. Why should I be using Facebook Ads? But there's a little bit of a, 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 a slant on this if you don't mind uh, explaining. Yeah, and I think the and this all comes down because I think a lot of the times the reason why we go into some of the why why Facebook ads is because the biggest thing that we get is that people go, well, my audience isn't on Facebook, right? They go, my target market, I sell uh, to high level healthcare practitioners, I sell to lawyers, I sell to uh, investment bankers, insurance brokers, whatever it might be, and they're not on there. Mm -hmm. When the case is that everyone needs to forget about the three letter acronyms, whether it's B2B or B2C. Mm. And it's like, we communicate with humans, mm -hmm. right? And we, if we, we want to replace those, a H to H, human to human, mm -hmm. which is where- I love it, I love H to H. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, 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 so, it's, it's what everyone should be thinking about because it's not, you're not selling to a conglomerate head, you're, sent, you're selling to Bob who Correct. is on Facebook because he wants to see what his daughter's softball team's doing. Like Correct. that's who you're connecting with. So you've just got to be better at having a conversation with them. So the big thing about the why is that, because most people go about, I, I, I should only be doing, uh, you know, like Google ads, I might only be doing uh, LinkedIn connections, whatever it might be, and everything is great and should be done, but we can find whoever you want on Facebook. It's yeah. just about yeah. getting that NOC method lined up. That's right, and a good friend of mine, Shane Perlman, runs Modern Tribe. They're a large WordPress agency. They're basically a collective of freelancers. Uh, he said to me once, I had him on the podcast uh, uh, many moons ago, and he said, you know, when we decide that we wanna work with Microsoft, we want, we, they, Skype are actually one of their clients, right? So he said, when we decided that we wanted to work with Microsoft, 
It wasn't, well, okay, how do we go and find Microsoft? It was because we knew someone that worked at Microsoft and we felt like we had an in and we also knew that it would be a really exciting project. It would force us to up our game and it would be great for our portfolio to have Microsoft or you know Skype as a client on our portfolio. So we didn't just call Microsoft and say, oh, hello, my name's Shane from Modern Tribe. We'd like to do business with you. He called Paul, who works at Microsoft, who's his friend and said, hey, Paul, what would it take for us to get in the door and pitch to you guys and work on a project, right? So exactly what you're saying, it's human to human. You're not dealing with a faceless organization. We're dealing with human beings. Uh, Jenny Lackanen, by the way, says, I'm blushing over here. Uh, because I gave her a shout out. So, all right, module two, we're going to talk about the Facebook ads strategy. Uh, let's just talk about this at a high level. What is Facebook ads strategy exactly and what does that mean? Yeah, I mean, everyone gets confused when you throw the word strategy in there. And it's like, I think it's uh, I think it's an Anchorman quote where he's like, no one knows what it means. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Like, that's, <laughs> you, know, that's, you throw that out there and it's like, ah, oh, what is it? And it's really all the pre-work. So uh, one of the best quotes I ever heard was that strategy is above the shoulders. Tactics are below. Yeah. So it's like, it's all the thinking. It's all the hard work. And it's like, you know, my, my record at the moment for setting up an ad is about two minutes and 33 seconds from start to finish with a little bit of internet lag time and talking through it with people. But all the work you do before is what actually makes a ad become successful. Mm. So it's all the thinking, it's all the identifying, it's all the mapping out process that you need to do to actually then be successful when you go in and set up an ad. Love it. Um, and you, you did mention that a lot actually while you were here and we talked about it in the course, all this, the strategies above the shoulders, tactics below the shoulders, love it. Module three is the NOC method, which we've spoken about. So once you've understood why you're using Facebook ads and you've clearly set your goals and your objectives, You've been through the strategy training and you understand how campaigns and ad sets and ads all kind of work and break down and the correlation between them. Then we dive into the NOC method, which is the niche offer uh, and creative copy method, which is Kim's proprietary method for running successful ad campaigns. And then in module four, we're actually going to start to build out our ads, right? Mm, that's the fun part. So it's actually, this is the tactical, this is the implementation side. And a lot of times people go, oh, but like, I've got to wait till module four. And uh, yes, you do. Right? Right. right. And it's because if you do all that work before, the actual setup becomes very, very fast. But also the reason why we've done it in this way is because what happens with Facebook is they change their interface all the time. Mm. So you go in there and you're like, oh, I watched this video from this guy, Kim, and uh, the, there's no green button there anymore. Yeah, that's right. It's blue. Yeah. Yeah, it's blue. And it's moved and it's above and it's on yeah. the side. And it's like, what, do, what am I going to do? But if you understand everything, all the fundamentals first, and everything builds on top of each other, then when you go in there, it doesn't matter if they change things around because you understand the principles of each section of a Facebook ad. You understand how you're going to identify what it's going to do. So when you go to build, it's fast. So even if you watch and you're like, but what if they change it in January and I'm getting it now in December? We're future-proofing you. Yes, we're going to do walkthroughs, but we're future-proofing your knowledge so that it doesn't matter if it changes. Mm. And it's almost impossible to shoot an accurate screencast of any of these platforms, whether it be Facebook or AdWords or whatever, because they split test not only their websites, but they split test their admin pages and their ad accounts so that there, there will be subtle differences whether you, you're looking at it or I'm looking at it or Kim's looking at it. And depending on the country you're in and your ad budget, they split test stuff to make it uh, you know, as engaging and as ROI positive as possible so that you keep using the platform, right? Um, yeah. It's not just about, I mean, it's all very well to get great ROI out of running Facebook ads, but if the experience of running ads in their platform is so freaking painful, you might not come back to it. So um, yeah. it's almost impossible to shoot an accurate screencast with these things anyway. I'm gonna come back to the sales page here. In module five, now here's the thing, We've never done this before. We usually roll our modules out one week at a time. But when we were in the studio making this course, we decided it would be, it would make no sense to roll out module four and then make people wait a week for module five. So you might notice here, module four and module five both get released on the same day because we want you to build out your ads, then we want you to launch and start measuring your ads straight away. So module four and module five get rolled out the same week so that you can just start, you can hit the publish button and start, you know, launch your campaigns and start measuring. Uh, what are some of the things that we're going to be looking for and uh, measuring in module five? Uh, it's all, it's all, this is where you get to the technical side and it's like people get stressed and overwhelmed. It's like, obviously the first thing we want to know is like, what's our cost per lead? Mm -hmm. But then from there, there's a few, there's always like the lead indicators and lag indicators. So like a lag is like, cool, I got a lead, cost me 20 bucks and I called them and they bought or they didn't buy. But what happens if we haven't got that lead yet? What are some of the lead indicators to show that we're on track? So we'll be, look, be looking at things like your CTR, your CPC, your CPM, which are all, again, technical terms, cost per impression, 
click-through rate and cost per click. I'm going to give you the industry averages that we should be looking for mm. so that we can know if we're on the right track. Mm -hmm. Because if you're anything like me, you will launch. And even though I'm pretty sure we say in there, don't look for 24 to 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> now or later, you're going to be like, yeah. refresh. Dude, I, dude sitting there I like, mean, you're talking to, I mean, I started some split tests in VWO this morning. And within five minutes, I'm refreshing going, where's my data? Where's my data? Where's my data? Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. We all want it, right? Yeah, so, yeah. And so if you are that person, Hopefully you're not. You listen to instructions in your way. But if you are that person, you will get some early, um, early indicators if you're on the right track. Mm. And then also what each one of them mean, because each one, if it's a, if it's a getting you a certain result, actually means something. And then I put together my outline of how I think you should best manage that as well. Awesome. Uh, hey, Cody Stinson is watching. Uh, hey, Cody, how you doing? Also, Laurie Sam Newman is watching and uh, Yogi, she's back watching again. Fantastic. Uh, now, I do want to talk about these awesome bonuses that we've got for you as well. Um, bonus number one is our online community group. Yes, we run uh, community support through our Facebook group. So we have a dedicated Facebook group for the Facebook Ads Accelerator course. You will be in that Facebook group and have access to myself and Kim in there. You're also getting lifetime access to this course uh, so and any future updates. So, you, you know, lifetime access means that you'll be able to come back and revisit this course time and time again and jump into the Facebook group and ask any questions. Uh, and bonus number three really, I think, is where the rubber hits the road. How to sell Facebook ads management retainers and boost your monthly recurring revenue. W module one through three, if you take module one through three in this course and package that up and just sell that, Right before we even run any ads, you basically sell that as a Facebook ad strategy service to your clients to position you as a Facebook ads expert. Do the work with the client and then start running Facebook ads for your client. And you're charging, you know, a, a modest fee of five hundred dollars a month to run Facebook ads for clients. Well, you know, you sell one of those. That's um, on a twelve month commitment. That's what six thousand uh, dollars a year. You've just, as as it says here, you've just, you know. You've just got a massive ROI on your uh, on the investment in the course, so it's a bit of a no-brainer. That's the most exciting thing for me here. And bonus number four is how to use Messenger bots and ManyChat to land your first or your next five clients without any ad spend. And this is only available during pre-launch, this bonus masterclass uh, for Messenger bots and ManyChat. It's only available during pre-launch. So if you want that bonus uh, to learn how to run ManyChat and Messenger bot campaigns, then make sure you grab this uh, bundle during pre-launch. Let me just... Um, we didn't even talk about it, but I actually, so with that as well, I give you guys a flow that you can directly import into your account. And even that, again, guess what? That's something else you could just do for a client, um, whether you could sell for them or just give it as an extra value add and they'd be like, oh my God, you got me this free appointment grabbing uh, process. You just literally swipe and deploy that same thing for your client. I just thought about just then. Uh, and look, there's that's easily another $1,000, $1,500 thing that you could provide to clients also. Love it. Uh, so there you go. I, I, I think you did mention that on Slack recently, and I forgot about that, but Kim has actually put together a flow that you can import into your ManyChat account. Um, whoop, there we go. A bit of a zoom on the uh, computer there. Here we go. So let me just recap the exactly what you're getting here. Uh, everything you receive when you join the Facebook Ads Accelerator, five modules of carefully curated content, which we've walked through, the Facebook Ads Accelerator workbook, which is epic. And Ben has done an amazing job now. A bit of feedback we've had on our previous courses is um, previously you had to print our workbooks out and fill them in and people wanted to be able to fill them in on the screen. So Ben has now built our workbooks in a way that you can load them up on your computer. I sound like a dinosaur, don't I? So that you can load them up on your computer and fill them in on your computer without printing them out. Because frankly, who's, who has printers these days? Uh, so the, the five modules of training, the, the interactive workbooks and the awesome bonuses, the online community group, for support, lifetime access to all the course materials and any further updates, how to sell Facebook ads management as a monthly recurring revenue retainer, and the limited time bonus, how to use Messenger bots and ManyChat to land your next five clients without any ad spend. And that bonus is only available during pre-launch. Uh, so where you need to go, and there it is, uh, pay 997 in full or three easy payments of 397 so you do save a little bit of money if you can make the investment up front however if cash flow is tight you can get three easy payments of 397 now i also do believe that we've added paypal credit 
as a an option, as a payment option. So we had a bit of uh, feedback from people saying, oh, can I pay this off over six months? You can now if you choose PayPal credit. And of course, that is only available for people in the US. Unfortunately, here in Australia, we don't have PayPal credit yet. Uh, but if you are in the US, you can use PayPal credit and pay this off, uh, pay the full 997 off, I think over six months. Um, uh, Jared Harmon here from CEO Business Warriors. In the last 12 months alone, we've added 150K of revenue using the strategies Kim teaches. If you're looking to generate more leads and take your business to the next level, Kim is your guy. So there you go. Um, I, d I do want to now come back to the questions. If you have any questions at all, please ask any questions, leave a comment underneath the live stream video here and we will endeavor to, to uh, do our best to answer these questions. Susan Wheeler Hall says, good news on the workbook upgrades. Thank you, Susan. Yes, we are listening and we take your feedback on uh, very seriously. Um, Kim, talk to me about the um, many chat changes that are happening in Facebook. I know there are some changes coming up in the next, in the coming months. Cambridge mm. Analytica have ruined it for everyone. Uh, but what, what are the, uh, what are the changes coming up and what, what do we need to be aware of when using Facebook Messenger? The big thing is around broadcast and that's where like a lot of also marketers ruined it where they were just broadcasting like crazy so if you're using it for acquisition like the the um the strategy that i'm sharing with you guys as this bonus is actually not a problem because they're coming in they're going through it's just a uh, a better more effective way to bring them and have interaction with them you still can broadcast and facebook's releasing their own um ability to broadcast within the app twice a month oh. But they are pushing it towards where, look, unless people really need updates from you, don't bombard them. That's the whole purpose because otherwise what happens goes the same as email. No one reads their email. Yeah. And they really do want it to be a uh, community service aspect. So it's like, cool, there's um, like Charlie, which had huge bushfires. Yep. Bushfires coming, alerts, everyone gets it and they actually open it rather than getting bombarded. However, if you do bring people in and you have follow-up sequences, people are there and engaged. And then it just comes down to a 24-hour rule where if they've engaged in the last 24 hours, you can interact and broadcast with them. If they aren't, then you can't. But you can still use it for all the other purposes, lead generation, uh, follow-up sequences, et cetera. Yep. But again, I'd probably expect that come April and May, which is when the F8 developer conference comes, we'll see a lot more updates. And I would say probably a little bit more uh, of what we do in ManyChat, we've brought into Facebook itself as well. Wow. That's why you've seen many chats added on SMS functionality, email functionality, so that they don't have all their eggs in the Facebook basket. Yeah, I noticed Mobile Monkey have done the same thing. Mobile Monkey, which is Larry Kim's company, they've now included uh, OmniChat, which is basically a web chat that you can put on your website. So you mm. can you know, use Facebook Messenger, plus you can also use web chat, plus they've also built some marketing automation features into Mobile Monkey. Uh, and it sounds like they're, they're getting a little bit nervous about putting all their eggs in the Facebook basket because uh, if Facebook decide to you know, get a conscience and care about people's privacy, then they, oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Um, uh, if they decide to change the rules, then you're screwed. So uh, it sounds like they're diversifying their offering. Um, all right, uh, is there anything, uh, any other questions that people have, or is there anything else that we've missed? Anything that you think we should be, uh, anything, anything obvious that we should be covering that we've missed? No, I think this, we obviously we've had a few inquiries from people where they're like, oh, I'm in certain industries and I don't oh, know yes. if, this is actually going to be able to be useful for me, especially yeah. in healthcare and things yeah. like that. that. You're right, actually. Jackie Kears like Jackie, this one's for you. I hope you're watching. Uh, Jackie is a um, basically a digital marketing consultant for dental practices, right? Now, my wife's a psychologist and a dentist, psychologist, podiatrist, any health practitioner is covered by APRA, the Australian Health Practitioners something association and um, they, they, they're very strict rules about what you can and can't do with social proof and testimonials. Uh, so do you want to just fill us in a little bit there? Yeah. And the, the big thing to remember with that is obviously there's no shortcuts around that, right? If you have a Facebook ad, yes, you may see competitors use them and they seem to work, but obviously you're putting yourself at big risk for that. So what I always say is like, if you can't use it, you can't use it. You've just got to wipe that off. However, can you still do Facebook ads? Of course. But you've just got to speak to specific niches with the outcomes that you can provide. And obviously, then people go, but outcomes, like, but if I solve this, if I cure pain for people, um, ultimately, right, then that's, I can't talk about that. Now, like I mentioned before, you don't 
cure pain. We didn't buy a mattress. There's always something deeper than that, right? Mm. So it might be, it might just be that they become happier in general. Mm. It might be that they can, people are enjoying life. Mm. Now that is possible to talk about, mm. but when, if you're going, I solved this problem, I crack your back and now you, you don't get cancer anymore, whatever that might be, right? You, yep. you can't obviously say those things and use those, yep. but if you still identify mm. the niche that you're speaking to, and if you can then put a offer in front of them that speaks more, I'll say, and a lot of times it might seem hard because it's more esoteric. It's not like the tangibles. It's sometimes the intangibles. Mm -hmm. But that's just what happens when you do a lot more work on your clients and understand them better. You get you able to play more in that field and arena of what they're what you're actually solving for them. Mm. And look, to be mm -hmm. honest, most people, um, myself, Troy, we probably operate in a much harder space because we also we're marketing marketing we're marketing like growth and and uh, and business development and whatnot which is actually a lot harder right because there's much more com competition when if you are marketing for someone who's a healthcare practitioner most of the other businesses don't e probably don't even know that facebook exists mm. they're living in the dinosaur age of doing letterbox drops and they're like oh uh, hopefully i'm this tv or radio ad that i'm going to do is going to work let me put an ad in the paper yeah right so a lot of the time it's like you can just do an ad being like we're open in this area and we work with these types of clients and that's probably going to get you a better result than um, than any of the old forms of digital uh, non-digital mediums as well. Like we had someone come to us who was doing, um, they had uh, they brought the Wizard of Oz to Perth, a big stage play. They normally spend six figures on TV and radio. I'm like, great, what does that generate for you? Like, we don't know. But yeah. when we spend it, the people come in and we're like, cool, well, let's, well, at least on Facebook, we can track and measure it. Mm. And when we did that, exactly the same type of ad that they would run on TV, we did. We just took it to digital, and they got a. Um, they were able to see that they were getting between a 15 and 25 percent, um, 15 and 25 times return on their investment, which you can't track anywhere else. Yeah, that's so right. In the worst case, you're giving them trackability on their ad spend because they'll probably say, "Look, 50 percent of our marketing works. We don't know which 50 percent though." Yeah. The other thing I want to talk about, Jackie, specifically with health practitioners. I was up in Sydney recently at Business Blueprint with my friend Dale Beaumont, and I was speaking up there for a full day. And there was a bit. There was a, a business coach up there who specializes in health practitioners. Now, one of the things you can do is you can, first of all, uh, you you can get Google reviews, right? That The whole thing about reviews and testimonials with the ARPA regulations, and not to get too deep in the weeds here, is that uh, you they don't like Facebook reviews because you can actually manipulate them. You can take Facebook views down, Facebook reviews down off your page, but you can't take Google reviews down. So you can't manipulate them at all. You've got no control over them. So you can ask your customers to give you Google reviews on Google, and there's nothing ARPA can do about that. The other thing that you can do is that you can talk about, for example, if you're a, uh, an osteopath, you could make a, a video ad on Facebook that says, hey, um, if you've got lower back pain and you spend a lot of time sitting down at the office, here are some simple stretches you can do during the day to help alleviate some of that pain, right? Now, all you're doing here is positioning yourself as an authority, right? Uh, you know, I'm not saying that I can cure your pain. I'm not saying uh, there's nothing clinical here going on. I'm just giving you some exercises that you can practice during the day. What I'm doing is I'm showing you a bit of my process and I'm, show I'm positioning myself as an authority. Hey, if you want to talk more about your overall well-being, get in touch, you know, come into the, to the, the practice or whatever and let's have a conversation. So there are ways around this. It just requires you to be a little bit creative. Uh, don't don't just take, take the ARPA regulations and say, well, you know, this won't work for me. Um, there are ways around it. It just, as I said, it requires you to be a bit creative. And I want to come back to that in a moment um, and answer Margaret's question. But before I get there, uh, Yogesh says, what is ManyChat? Is it a CMS automation platform for Facebook? It's basically a software that allows you to program messenger bots in Facebook. And they've now also rolled out email and SMS automation campaigns as well. Daniel has an interesting question. Is landing page creation covered in this course, like how to build a landing page that makes the whole funnel convert better? The short answer is no, we don't actually cover how to build a landing page in this course. If you wanna learn how to build a landing page to convert strangers into high paying clients, go and have a look at the high ticket sales funnel uh, course. And I might sneakily suggest that if you buy the Facebook Ads Accelerator program, you might have an opportunity, and I can't guarantee this, but you might have an opportunity to get the high ticket sales funnel program at a ridiculous price. Uh, and the two things go hand in hand very well, Daniel. So high ticket sales funnels is definitely, uh, will definitely help you with the landing pages. Um, and if I yeah, can chime on. in there, please, please do. Is that yeah, yeah. That, you don't need a landing page, like for the verification process. So I've talked, there's two phases, verification, amplification. Yeah. And you're getting verification, 
you can leverage things like Facebook lead ads, you can leverage things like ManyChat and Messenger. So don't think that oh, I, to, for me to be able to do Facebook ads, I have to have all my ducks up in a row. I have to have landing pages built, a website built for conversion, etc. I show you how to verify it without needing that so that you can start getting results faster. And then it's the same when you speak to clients as well. Then when you're offering that That's as right. a service, that they don't have to go, oh, I need to, uh, or, so now you're going to charge me to build this other stuff as well. It's like, well, I could, or we can verify it, then we can amplify with That's a high right. ticket. Elsewhere. And when, when you showed me, when you showed us this at the Agency Accelerator event in October in Melbourne and you showed us how to do this with lead ads, my jaw hit the ground. I was standing up in the back of the room and I'm like, oh my God, that's so obvious and so simple. Why hadn't I thought of that? And it's like, it's right there. So uh, verify first, then amplify. Um, Margaret's got a question. I want to use this for a client who sells high-end bakery equipment. Will this work for such a niche clientele? P.S. Very, very expensive bakery equipment. Yeah, well, um, uh, so I was talking with a guy the other day about, talk, uh, and they were talking about like selling like $250,000 drill bits and whatnot, right? Yeah. Uh, so there's like, obviously there's a lot of stuff going on now. You're probably not going to run an ad and be like, come and buy this. Like I know um, one of my friends just opened a pizza restaurant and their uh, pizza, the dough cooker mm -hmm. that they have was something like, Fifty thousand like dollars. It was a reasonable investment to get this like pizza cooker thing um, for them, so that they could get it done. So, if I was thinking about that, I would say yes, in conjunction with a few things. So I would do that in conjunction with, like Troy said before, content, mm -hmm. right? So and amplifying our content and pushing out and saying, sh showing like the pros and cons. And we go into this in the program about identifying the level of awareness that your customers are at and then campaigns to suit each one. So in short, yes, you could, but you'd need to do it in conjunction with a few things. It wouldn't just be one verification ad and just that's it. It's like, hey, do you wanna buy this thing? I have it specifically for bakers. You'd be doing a couple things in conjunction with um, your verification process as well. Yeah, 100%, love it. I I'll give you an example. My collar here, right? <clears throat> most of my shirts, this one actually doesn't have them, but most of my shirts have little collar stiffeners mm. in, in, the, in the shirt, right? Now, these things, Clothing stores give these things away for free, right? Or they might sell them for a dollar and there's a, like a bucket of them at the... I saw a Facebook ad once, which was this beautiful photography of these little metal collar stiffeners that go in your collar to keep the shape, right? And it was just shot in a way that I saw it and was like, oh my Lord, that makes collar stiffeners look like a uh, high-end cigar, right? It was like, oh my God, I just want their collar stiffness. Even though I didn't wear their shirts, I wanted to put their collar stiffness in my collars that no one else will see because I'm an idiot, right? And I respond to stuff like that, right? So I wanted these really, you know, high-end, beautiful collar stiffness in my collar just to know that I was wearing them. And they were like, I don't know, $12 a pair or something, which is just stupid for collar stiffness. But what they were really selling is a $240 shirt, right? So they didn't start the conversation by trying to sell me a $240 shirt on Facebook. They started the conversation by trying to sell me something that was easier to sell because I don't have a relationship with them. So you're not going to sell a $50,000 bakery dough maker on Facebook. You're going to sell something else first and you're going to start to build a relationship. Christy Smith says, amazing stream, guys. Clap, clap. Thank you very much. Hey, Ray Miladoni is watching. Hey, Ray, how you doing, brother? Paul Bombers is also watching. Paul Bombers. Hey, Paul. Um, Yogesh says, Kim, <clears throat> I'm going to use Facebook ads for some pharmacy groups in Australia next year to advertise their products. Does the tactics taught in the course apply to such products? And can we run ads for medicines? Just want to make sure they don't have too much restrictions with pharma products. That, that one is going to be uh, based on the individual product. Um, so that's a little bit one, uh, a little bit hard for me to answer there because each product, um, depending on what it does and how it does, may or may not be able to be promoted. Um, but the the on, and that's just more from their legality side of things. Mm -hmm. On Facebook side of things, the only products that at the moment are not allowed to be done, which would be fall into that category, is anything that falls under CBD um, cannot be promoted. That's the only one that, and um, also. Uh, I, Certain products as well have to be over the age of 18 to be promoted to also. They're the two asterisks at the moment. Could you use that? Um, yes, you could. But again, each one I would recommend assessing, double checking with them, their legalities, and if they use it in other areas of promotion and they, will be, they should tell you this. Um, and obviously then you can do your own research too. So in short, yes. But again, like Troy mentioned, depending on the range that they want to sell, I would be more so showcasing the experience 
of coming in to a specific pharmacy. When I go into a pharmacy, normally I feel like there's going to be sick people there. They're going to be coughing on me and the person at the counter is somewhat <laughs> helpful. But then I feel like if I'm going to go and buy pseudo ephedrine, I'm like, they're like, are you a druggie? And I'm That's like, no, I, I, like, I have the flu. I need, I need, I need it. Then it's like, do you want the pseudo ephedrine? I'm like, I'll just say no so that they don't think I'm a, um, someone yeah. who's trying to you know, make yeah. crack cocaine or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So if um, you can change yeah. that experience, that's what I would be doing is I'd be adjusting the experience and, and showcasing them coming in. And look, maybe someone picks up, looks at that specific product and, and then and then purchase it. Um, that may be a way around that depending on the certain products and services they want to be promoting. 100%. Uh, hey, congratulations to Robert Craig, who's just joined the Facebook Ads Accelerator course and managed to pick up the high ticket sales funnel upgrade at a ridiculous price. Well done, Robert Craig. Robert Astroff also joined the Facebook Ads Accelerator course and also picked up the high ticket sales funnel upgrade. Uh, Cody Stinson, who we mentioned earlier, is also in the Facebook Ads Accelerator program, uh, as is Gavin McClelland and Byron Trez... Oh, now, there's a name that's got me, Brian Trechiak. I'm going to presume that the Z is silent. Byron Trechiak, I hope I've got your name right, as is Matthew Hawker and Angie Neal. Thank you very much for joining the Facebook Ads Accelerator program. I'm just going to come back to the questions here. By the way, um, if you... Uh, missed it, the link is underneath this video. It is, uh, in fact, if you just go to wpelevation.com uh, slash courses, you'll find the link there to go to the Facebook Ads Accelerator program and uh, grab this bundle that we've got uh, on offer during our pre-sale launch. Uh, there it is, the link's on the screen, wpelevation.com slash ads course That bundle is only available until Wednesday, so there's only a few days left. And Margaret Tehan has chimed in and let me know that they are called Collar Stays, S-T-A-Y-S, Collar Stays. There we go. Uh, and Kellyanne Horn says, great info, guys, with a love heart. Thank you very much. Well, hey, we've been here for almost an hour now, and I'm respectful of everyone's time. Um, I want to thank Kim for coming in and uh, spending some time with us here and unloading some of your knowledge. Thank you very much once again, and thanks for being such a great presenter on this course, man. It was just awesome to have you here in the studio for a week shooting this course. I learned a ton and I've been learning more as I've been watching the guys edit this course in the video and put the workbooks together. It's super helpful and uh, we're on a mission to bring all of our Facebook ads in-house and do it ourselves. And this course is definitely going to give us a huge head start to make sure that we're heading in the right direction. So uh, again, man, thank you so much for, uh, for contributing sure. to this. Um, Daniel's got one final question here. For those entering in their first month of a Facebook ad retainer, for those entering in their first month of a Facebook ad retainer for a client, what's a good budget to tell a client to prepare to have ready just for ad spend? Oh, that's a very good question. Yeah, that's a kind of a loaded question. So again, it it's based on their goal and their outcome. So um, I would never like, cause everyone asked it like, oh, what's my budget? And I'm like, that's the worst question to ask. Yeah. Should be like, cool. my goal is to achieve X. And then everything is about reverse engineering and going, if you want this, then how many leads do you need? How many inquiries? And then what are we willing to spend? Because everyone's really happy to go, oh, look, I, I'm willing to spend this. But as soon as you ask them, go, great. What, uh, what's the maximum you would spend to acquire a customer? That's the question you've got to lead in with, again, prior to getting started with them. And that's what I like to frame with it, uh, them about. So because we, we've done this and look, sometimes our team, because we onboard quite a number of people that we work with, they might miss it. And we had a guy coming in and one of our team, they were a little bit stressed. They're like, oh, we're paying $40. We're running some ads in Singapore. We're paying 40 bucks to get someone to their web, like to their event. We're a bit stressed. Then we jumped on a call with the client. They're like, this is phenomenal. Normally we're paying $80. So like being <laughs> cheap, this is so amazing. And they're like stressing themselves out for no reason because they, they didn't get the goal at the beginning. Yeah. So I always like to get the, what's your worst case maximum you would spend to acquire a lead or a customer if they know that, yep. if they don't. You educate them, and this is what we do in the in the training as well. So yeah. we get you to set your own goals and, and budgets, and then use that exact same process yeah. for clients as well. That's right, and uh, you know, and this is covered in the course. And this is this is what I'm saying. The first three modules in this course, before we even open Ad Manager and start running ads, the first three modules in this course will give you a blueprint for going and selling strategy to clients because. What it comes down to really is, is lifetime value of the customer and the profit in that customer. That tells you how much you can afford to spend 
to get that customer. And as Ryan Dice has been saying for years, he who can spend the most to get the customer wins, right? So if you can work out the lifetime value of a customer, work out the profit margin, and then say to the client, well, you can actually afford to spend $90 on a lead because we know you can afford to spend $900 to get a customer because your profit in that customer is X, Y, Z. You start having those conversations with your customers, and you're instantly elevated above most Facebook agencies who don't have those conversations. And that's exactly what we, we cover in the first three modules that you'll learn. So um, take that and just use that to start selling Facebook ad strategy to clients before you even open the ad manager. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Margaret says, so I have until Wednesday to figure out if I can afford this. I wanna do it, gotta to talk to my husband about our budget. Can I reach out to you this week? Absolutely, Margaret. I know Margaret personally. We've uh, hung out together at events, so reach out to us. We do have some payment plan options as well. We've got a three month payment plan, and also because you are in the US, you can probably take advantage of PayPal credit, which I think will give you six months uh, to pay that off. And the good news is we get paid up front by PayPal. They essentially lend you the money to do the course, and then you can pay them back. So have a look at a couple of those options as well, Margaret, and feel free to email us support at wpelevation.com, support at wpelevation.com, email us, and we'll um, work with you to make it happen. All right. Thank you very much, Kim. Uh, thanks for being a part of it and answering these questions. I really appreciate your time and, uh, and look forward to seeing everyone and their success stories in the Facebook Ads Accelerator course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Thanks for being a part of it. Uh, that is a live stream Q&A to answer all of our questions about Facebook Ads Accelerator. If you do have any other questions, leave a comment or a question under this video and I'll make sure that Kim and I get back in the next couple of days and uh, look at these questions and make sure we get you your answers. Uh, until then, I look forward to seeing you in the course and speaking with you again on our podcast and on our show. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.